Hey, how you all doing? Welcome, um, welcome back. Um, thanks a lot for all the support on my motion videos. That's um, that's great. So I can pretty much do whatever I put my mind to in motion. So if if anything, if anybody needs anything or help with anything in motion, just please um, just please drop me a, drop me any questions. But this one's going to be Pixelmator. A lot of people ask me a lot of questions about Pixelmator because I do a few tutorials. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I'd make sort of a a, a logo pack, a giveaway pack of the most common things that I use. Um, I know people do it at certain subscribe, but I'm not into all that crap. I don't care about that. So I'm just gonna I'll run you through. I'll put some um, gradients in because um, I'll put like this. I'll put this gradients pack together. This one here, and there's 14 gradients in total. People always ask me about um, sort of metal looking gradients. So yeah, we've got metal looking gradients there. Look, um, some different type style metal looking gradients. Um, so yeah, I've put um, for a few together. I've put some blues as well. Some you know some nice blues that you can use and if you just use them in different ways you can you know you can make different effects like I use this one to make the flares and all that good stuff and if you use them radial you know you've got nice gradient colours or linear um, or angled gradients whatever you want to do or, um, but so yeah the, the gradients are there sort of a rainbow one as well um, the gradients are there if you um, if, if you want them and, and simple all you do all you do with the gradients is take the folder and you can either double click on it and it'll open Pixelmator and the gradient will be there or drag and drop it onto your gradients toolbar all right so that's the, you know so you, you'll have your, your gradients um, <coughs> move this, move this. you'll have your gradients there and all you do is drag and drop it onto here like that wait till you get the plus sign and I'll have that gradient there um, so yeah so that's as simple as it is with the gradient, either double click them or just drag and drop them. Um, okay, I've put this other pack together, let me delete that. Right, what I've done here, I've put this sort of nice cool pack together for you of backgrounds and patterns. Now let me tell you something about Pixelmator that um, <clears throat> I see a lot of people mess up with quite a lot. Right, if you look here, these tiles, so these tiles on these two here are, um, are blank, just sort of black with a light like a light field coming through them or a light reflective sort of view looking on them and the reason for that is nothing inside it is selected that's what that means this one on the other hand has got something inside it selected look so it's got a tick so if I deselect it all you will get a blank um, blank placeholder right there so it just shows you that you've got something selected within that group because these would be closed and you wouldn't know it would be a group so if I then turn on the group, this is the sort of thing view that I'll get. I'll get the layer that's got something selected. So that's all that is, is if you've got something selected in the group. Okay, so the backgrounds, right? So I'll open the backgrounds, and first and foremost, the top, lev the top level of each one, you have to have the group on in order to view anything. So that was the one that was viewable, or, or the one that was seen. Um, and we'll get rid of them patterns as well. So here's backgrounds and patterns. So we've got a brick one and textures, and you can do a lot of things with these. Um, leather ones, there's lots, there's, you know, there's, and these, I've not made all these, some of them I've made, but I've not made all these myself, um, they are just from um, common used sort of things that I found is, is quite common, um, and then we've got some patterns at the back end, right, so with this, the patterns is within the backgrounds, so if I turned this top level off, the patterns would turn off, so I have to have both top levels turned on, and then I open up the patterns, and the patterns are just they're just sort of hatched um, hatched tall things within the patterns that you know a lot of people use for YouTube backgrounds and, and all that good stuff. And then we've got um, lights and flares, let's turn the backgrounds on. So I'm gonna turn the lights and flares on at the top level. And now the lights and flares with what's this here, what's going on? So that's that's a flare, so we'll drag that into flares, right? <clears throat> so we've got lights and flares. Within the lights and flares we've got lights, uh, flares and um, and sparks. If I wanted to view a flare, I'd have to turn the lights and flares and the flare on, and then um, just look through the flares, turn them on and off, and you know, just. Um, but you get the idea, and then we've got a particles pack, and it's just got like different particles. Look. So yeah, you, you get the you get the idea of that, um, and then the sparks pack. Turn the particles off, lights and flares, turn the particles off, um, and there's. You know, different sparks and, and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, they are they are there as well, right? So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll find use for them. And the good thing about it is they're free, so that's that's even better, you know. Um, I've also made. Um, I use a lot of brushes 
I don't think brushes are a good shortcut to everything, so I make a lot of um, brush logos. So I'll put this, um, I'll put this logo pack in, um, <clears throat> and I'll show you the way to find it in a minute. But you don't really need to find it. All you need to do is, I will have the file, and it will be on your desktop like this, but it'll be called the 13th sort of brushes. 13th logo brushes pack whatever I call it and all you need to do is drag and drop it to there it won't at the moment because that's a gradient clearly but that's pretty much what it will be drag and drop it to there and yeah with the brushes so I've done like the most commonly used things select your brush tool um, use select your size and then um, there you go let's um, do control Z that let me change the color to a twitterish color so that's a Twitter type colour, and if you're not happy, so I put sort of put a light flare in in it. Then you just um, highlight the the material and um, colour it whatever colour you want. You know, with a gradient or a or a fill, um, yeah, whatever colour you want. So so that's what it ends up like, yeah. So um, um, and yeah, you know, you got Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and it's it's the same sort of reoccurring thing. Select your brush tool, or um, YouTube. Change the size of YouTube. Just keep clicking them all over the place. Um, even down to MTV, and I'm trying to sort of group them. You know, Internet Explorer. Um, what else we've got in there? We've got Firefox. We've got Machinima. So there's a few gaming networks. Um, Android and Apple. Um, black is better or darker grey. Um, we've got Nike and Adidas in there. Some Xbox and PlayStation, um, a few gaming ones. I don't even know what that is. Call of Duty, uh, Assassin's Creed, GTA. Yeah, um, got some flags in there. Um, got some computer type based things in there. So all you do is just use them as brushes. Um, what's that? Video. Yeah, okay. Graphics. Um, Alienware. Yeah, there's Steam. There's there's all sorts of stuff in there. So um, so yeah, just have a look through there. And obviously you've got my logo as well. So so yeah, have a look through there. And that's the graphics pack. I hope it is um, it is to your liking. If you want anything added, I think my sort of next um, graphics pack giveaway will probably do a few motion um, motion five um, sort of templates like the um, the creepy. The, the, the creepy corridor template and I'll, I'll do a few templates anyway that you can use and you can mess about with so yeah anyway um there you go share it around and share the love thanks a lot for watching catch you all later bye